Okay, part 14, we're going to look at powering down, which actually has just frustrated the hell out of me because I had five days to wait on my power down and I've actually just forced it to seven days by resetting something. So I'm going to go over that just to show you so that you don't make the same mistake and cycle through the anxiety of it like I did. So the second co uh, column here, which says steam power, uh, you'll see that I've got 877 steam here. Now, as a content creator to the platform, really for the first six months, you or longer, you really want to be keeping this this steam power as high as possible because that's your influence influencer tokens curation rewards. The higher this number is, the more chance you're going to get uh, earnings on your blog posts. So, powering down is pretty much a no no on the platform because you're kind of wanting to keep the liquidity of Steam in the system and in your account it gives you so much presence on the platform. So if you click on right click, sorry, left click here, you get a drop down, power down by cancel power down. So if I scroll down a little bit, you can see the next power down is scheduled to happen in seven days. That was five days. I made the mistake of doing this. I'm going to show you what I did. I clicked on power down and this is a relatively new feature is that you can adjust this slider to say how much of your steam you want to power down. Now, when you power that down, say I selected uh, 500 exactly, which I don't know if you can even type that in. I presume you can type it in and then selected power down. What it does is if you're already powering down, it resets that counter back to seven days. So be super careful with that. Um, maybe you don't want to do the whole power down. Now, after seven days, you don't get this full amount of 877 steam, which is my maximum at the minute. You get a 13th of it. So every 13 weeks, I think it works out that if you left it running uh, up to 13 weeks, should I say, you get a part of what is outstanding in your steam account. So it's a way of um, taking bits of your steam uh, power out into steam and then you can do what you want with it at that stage turn it into steam dollars or even take it to an exchange like block trades and transfer it to a fiat currency but be really careful about this power down bar if you do it all the way to the right it says leaving less than five steam in your account is not recommended and can leave your account in unusable state so heartily suggest not doing that but like i said it just sends you a 13th of that steam so, for instance, I would probably get around 70 steam in seven days time, which uh, just lately I've needed to be powering down quite a lot because I have bills to pay. And I'm actually using crypto to pay for everyday bits in my life rather than just being um, an investor and sitting on it and, and waiting for it to make me more money. I just don't have it's one of my income streams as being a blogger. And uh, that was one of the promises of the platform, really, was to come here and get paid financial rewards for doing posts and uh, getting payouts on those posts. So um, I'd rather keep it in there. would rather be building on this um, Steam Curation Rewards because the more I've got in here, the more rewards I'm going to get. And obviously that's going to snowball. But it's just the situation I'm in right now. Heartily recommend that if you're a content creator, like I said, leave that money in there. Leave that Steam Power in there as long as you can. And if you can, also, you know, power up from the steam dollars when the price of steam is quite low so i use a little tracker called coin kick on the mac and it loads up here in the trade bar you see at the moment steam is 0 0.875 it's very cheap under a dollar highly recommend that whenever you see it under a dollar that you grab as much as it as you can afford and when i say that as much as you can afford money that you are able to lose because obviously crypto is very volatile all right that's it for this um, episode i'll see you soon